Hello, this is Will from WHMCS. In this tutorial, I will introduce you to some of the key settings in our software. The general settings area is where you can change the vast majority of WHMCS settings. During this guide, I will cover the most important items. In-depth explanations of each and every option can be found in our online documentation. The relevant documentation links are available in the description below the video. All setup and configuration options for WHMCS software are located under the setup menu in the navigation bar. To begin, we first navigate to setup, then general settings. The general tab contains the core configuration settings for your installation. This includes your company information, such as the name and email address. The logo URL field specifies the image file that will be used as your company logo in email correspondence sent from your installation. The pay to text box will be displayed on invoices and should contain your company's mailing address or PO box. The system URL field is used for many functions within WHMCS and must match the installation address exactly. You should enter the URL that you use to access your installation in this field. We recommend always using SSL whenever possible, so the URL should begin with HTTPS. The template dropdown allows you to change the default theme WHMCS uses for the client area. Once an additional theme has been created, it will appear in this list for selection. To learn more about themes and how you can customize your installation, check out our template customization tutorial. The friendly URLs area allows you to change the URLs used throughout WHMCS to a more search engine friendly format. Up next is the localization tab, which contains options for the system character set, date formatting, country, and language. On this page, you can also toggle the language menu, which allows visitors to choose the language they prefer, as well as enable phone number automatic formatting for consistency. The ordering tab allows you to control the ordering process, such as choosing an order form template, requiring clients to indicate they have read your terms of service, and deciding what happens when an order is placed. On the domains tab, you can, if so desired, enable domain name registrations, transfers, as well as adjust your default name servers, who is contact information, enable ID and domain support, and more. The Mail tab contains settings used for all emails sent via WHMCS. You can choose to send via PHP mail or authenticated SMTP. To send via SMTP, simply select it via the Mail Type dropdown and enter the server information in the fields below. When sending via PHP mail, these fields are not required. The global fields customize the appearance of all emails sent to your clients by WHMCS. Each email type can also be customized individually via the email templates area, which is covered in a separate video. The system email settings define the sender information displayed on emails sent by your installation to your staff. The support tab allows you to adjust your ticket system options, including the ticket ID format, rate limiting replies, whether accessing tickets requires a login, and much more. This area allows you to fully customize your support experience. The settings applied by default will apply to most use cases. The Allowed File Attachments Types field is populated using a few common extensions by default. You can also add additional types you may receive frequently, such as TXT and PDF. On the Invoices tab, many options are available for configuring how invoices are generated and handled. The most commonly used options here are Continuous Invoice Generation, which allows you to control the behavior of future invoicing when balances remain outstanding on previous invoices, the ability for clients to choose which payment gateway to use, automatic cancellation request invoice cancellation, and whether or not you choose to use pro forma invoicing with sequential invoice numbering. The default configuration on this tab applies to most installations, and we do recommend that cancellation request handling remains enabled for your convenience. You can also specify late fees, which credit card types to accept, and your invoice number settings. The Credit tab allows you to enable or disable the credit system within WHMCS, as well as adjust the minimum and maximum credit deposits that can be added in a single transaction, and the maximum credit balance that can be added by the client. This area also allows you to configure whether credits are used automatically for invoice payments and how downgrade price differences are handled. The options under the Affiliate tab are used to configure the affiliate settings should you choose to offer this system to your clients. You can adjust the commission percentages, bonuses, minimum payments, delays, and customize affiliate links. 
The Security tab includes many settings for securing your installation and is covered in our Securing Your Installation video tutorial. The Social tab allows you to integrate your social media profiles with your WHMCS installation. You can display tweets or allow clients to recommend and share your announcements. Lastly, the Other tab contains those settings which do not fit directly into any other area. Here, you can configure your marketing settings and choose whether opt-in is required redirect all visitors to your installation to the client area sign-in page, and choose optional fields on forms. Of note is the debug section here. By default, WHMCS suppresses error output, as is best practice for live production systems. The display errors options can be enabled when troubleshooting or debugging to display more context about the issue that is occurring. These options should remain disabled as they are only necessary when actively troubleshooting as verbose logging can affect system performance. Once your preferred settings have been entered on each of these tabs, you can click the Save Changes button at the bottom of the screen, and you're done. Thanks for watching.